Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art, and today we're going to be creating a single line portrait collage. So for our single line portraits, all we're going to need is some cartridge paper, a black marker, we've got scissors, glue, and some colored pencils as well. We'll also be using a mirror because we're going to do a portrait of ourselves. So you can either use a mirror or work off a photograph, or even if you're working with a laptop, you might want to turn the camera on and look at yourself as you're drawing. But I'm just going to use this mirror as my reference. And for this single line drawing, it's going to be a blind drawing as well, which means we're just going to focus on our mirror or our picture without taking our eyes off what we're drawing. So as we're drawing, we're going to be focusing on that picture and then using our pen without taking it off the page to draw our own portrait. So your results aren't going to look realistic. They might even look a little bit weird, but that's the whole purpose of this is to try and get your eye in and have a look at what you're actually drawing instead of focusing what's on your page. So the results will look a little bit strange, but that kind of adds to the uniqueness of the work. So to begin, just going to hold my mirror out, focus on my face without looking at the paper and you might find it's a bit challenging at first not to look at where you're drawing on the page but just try and keep your eyes focused on your face. go and as you can see my drawing maybe doesn't look quite like me but that's okay because what we're focusing on is trying to get your brain to think about only looking at what you're drawing going a bit slower than what you usually might and just focusing on the bigger details than those finer details so this is a really good way to focus on what you're doing it really messes with your brain in terms of having to think about where you are on the page and the slower you go, the more details you might want to get as well. But have a bit of a go at drawing some different variations. So you might want to practice doing really fast drawings. You might want to try and go slower or even bigger or smaller. So I'm just going to create lots and lots of these single line blind drawings. And then what we're going to do is use some color. So I'm just going to keep going and draw about seven or eight more of these. And then we can start moving on to the next step. Now that we've completed a few different drawings and what you might like to try is again to go bigger scales, smaller scales, starting at different points. So instead of always starting at the top of the head or always starting at an eye, try some different areas around the face and then see where the line leads you from there. So from here, all I'm going to do is use some colored pencils to color in some enclosed sections of the face. So I might try a few different colors and going from different areas. So I don't want all my faces to look the same. I want a lot of variation. So I'm going to color some in more and some less and just using a variety of different colors.
now I've colored in my images. All I'm going to do now is cut them out. And if you find that some of your faces don't quite enclose all the way, such as this one, then just cut around where you imagine that line would finish. So just going to cut out all of these. So now I've cut out all of my faces and I've got a few more that I've made previously as well. So all we're going to do is grab a colored piece of paper that we're going to use as a background. And I'm just going to place some of my faces around the piece of paper so I have a bit of an idea of how I want them to sit. So I don't really have a particular way that I'm placing them, just having a bit of a play around with just overlapping them as we go. So you can really place them any way you like and have some going over the top, some going underneath, but it's really just having a bit of a play and seeing what kind of composition you're happy with. So all I'm going to do is use a glue stick and start pasting these down. So try and make sure that you're starting with the faces more towards the background, then the faces around the middle ground, and then the faces in the foreground. Now that I've got my faces pasted down, you can move them around or add more or take some away if you wanted to, but I'm quite happy with that, so I'll leave it as is. But this would be a really nice project if you had other people that you could work on this with and then adding their faces and making a really big collage of everyone's faces joined together. But that's a really great way to develop your drawing skills, have a bit of fun in how you draw and think of it from a different perspective. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.